Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run R non-interactively using R.exe. Uh, let's actually take a look at uh, this executable file or version of R. Uh, when you install R, at least on a PC, you will get a certain, in the bin folder, 64-bit, you'll get a bunch of different executables. So I'm used to running our GUI and working in the console. Uh, let me quickly show you what that looks like. Yeah, you, this may be familiar to you or you may be using R script. So this allows me to work interactively with R. I type commands and I get results immediately. And this is a great way to work if you're kind of just uh, experimenting, exploring, and uh, riffing. But sometimes you, there's a task where you need to repeat something. Oftentimes, you don't want to uh, go into the GUI and type these commands or source the commands. You want to make it as seamless as possible. Now, there's two options that I can think of to do this. One is r.exe and the other is our script so what I'm going to cover in this tutorial is how to use R non-interactively with R executable okay so uh, let's actually now back out if you've noticed I have my R uh, installed on my USB which actually just adds a little layer of complication actually just a tiny bit R is not currently in my path, so I will actually just need to give the location of this file, which I can simply grab by grabbing the path up here. So if I copy that path and I append to that forward or backslash rather r.exe, when I get into my CMD uh, shell, uh, my DOS command, I'll be able to run R executable all right so for now let me back out of this and let me just show you how you can basically work with R non-interactively so then to set this up further I've made this folder called the batch test and then within that folder I have a test script one if you take a look at this file here this is my R script so I've basically running some very basic commands in fact let me yeah it does not matter what what I have here these are some basic things that I just wanted to uh, have R run uh, non-interactively uh, so you'll notice uh, I put some comments here so this won't get evaluated as code of course but I'm gonna import the or rather use the cars data set look at its structure get summary of the two features run a linear model then get the summary, then uh, so these are kind of arbitrary things, and then a bunch of plots. So you can see what the results of this uh, non-interactive running of R look like. I put some variety of code here, but kept it very simple. Okay, whatever you do, do this in a text editor and save it with the dot R um, format. This will make things a lot smoother, so make sure you save it with dot R, not dot r dot txt or just dot txt once that's created this is the script that i want to run okay one thing i could do is just copy and paste this into the gui but i don't want to do that i want to make this seamless so i save this file here now i want to have our or, or have windows uh, source this script to the r executable so the way I'll do that is to open up a fresh command prompt and in the command command prompt you see um, by default I'm opening up in this file path I first need to give the file path of the um, R, R E X E that we saw before so X E. So let's actually go back. I kept that window open and copy and paste that. So we're going to copy this. 
file path. And in quotes, I'm going to paste this. And then I'm going to add the r.exe, close the quotes. And then the command is cmd batch. This is how you use batch in R. Um, and then what I need to give it is the script file. So the script file you just saw with me was the one where I was analyzing the cars data. So I need to give the file path of this guy. Let's paste that. And the name of the file, let's get it exactly right, was test underscore r underscore script dot r. I closed the quotes. Now, if I hit enter right now, what's going to happen is we're going to get, because I asked for plots and I had code with output, I'm going to get the code interleaved or interspersed with the output. When it comes to plots, I'm going to get by default a separate file called rplot by default, which contains any plots that I have. So if I have one plot or 20 plots, they'll all show up in this one PDF file. Now, and I'll also get a one other file. I'll get an R data file, which actually is like the workspace. It's saving the workspace. So I can actually then go back into, let's say, R GUI and load that workspace and continue working with all the symbols and assignments that I've created in this script. Okay, so now three files are gonna be produced here. An out file, an R out file with the output and the code, like I said, an R plot file, which is a PDF file with the plots, and an R data file, which is the format. Now, where are these gonna go? Now, this is important. They well, the plot and the R data file are going to go from to wherever you run this command that we just wrote, this batch mode of R. It's going to drop those into that folder. So if you don't want it there or if you want it somewhere else, before you even start this process, we should have CD'd or found that directory where we want those two. Okay, A. How about the third file, which is also very important, the R out file, which contains the code interleaved with the output, like the summary and the mean and the median of anything else I requested that's not a plot, that has output. That's gonna go in an R out file, and that's gonna go into the same folder or directory as the script. By default, it's going to go into the script. Okay, now you can control these things. You can control that as well by adding a third directory here with the direct directory of uh, where you want the R out file. And then you can control where everything goes. So let's just run this and see where everything that. Uh, where everything goes. So I run this. If I don't get any error messages here, there's a good chance that things went well. As you can see, a new file was added where the script was. And the default name for that was the same as the name of the script, but R out. Let me double click that and show you what that looks like. So here you see, here's my R code. Here's the output summary. I ran a linear model, right? Here's the summary of that output. I ran this function unique. Here's the output. And then I asked for some plots. This was comments, right? Comment, comment, comment. So those were not evaluated. I get a processing time down here, which is great. That's also an indication that things went well. Uh, where did I ask for the plots? A little early on. Yeah. Um, here. Missed it. Okay, so I asked for actually a few plots, uh, three or four in total. So where do those go? So this is this is what the R out looks like. It contains everything but the plots. So let me close that, and that goes in the same fo folder as the script. I can control that, but for now we just leave, left it as default. Now, where did I run this command from? 
from users forward slash, forward slash boolean. If I go to that file for to that folder, I'll see my R plot and my um, R data file. So let's see, see the R data. There it is, and the R plot or R plots dot PDF. There you go, and look at the time that it was created. Same exact time. That's actually when we ran that. Look at the time in this bottom right hand corner. Okay. I could have also obviously clicked on the folder and done this uh, more visually, but the directory dir will show you the location, uh, the contents of of this folder. Users boolean. Okay. Now. I don't want that stuff to go all over the place. I want to control where all this output goes. These three files, I want to have control where they go. So what can I do? First off, let me clear my screen. Okay. And let me delete the output and let's run this again. Okay. So before I run this again, so here I can just up arrow and run this code again. Before I do that, I am going to CD this is kind of how you move around in between directories in um, CMD. I'm going to CD to this folder here on the desktop. I created this folder called out. Okay. So if I copy that file, uh, that directory, I can CD to it. Okay. And now you see I'm in that folder. So now I'm going to run that same exact code or well, almost. And at least I know that the R plots and the R data are going to end up in here. Okay. Now what's in here right now, I can check. I know it's actually empty. See zero bytes, zero files, right? Okay. So let me clear that up again. I'm in the correct directory. I'm almost ready to run my same code. I don't need to type it again. In fact, remember, this is the path of R E X E. So for you, that might be on your local machine. For me, it was actually on a USB drive. That's fine. It doesn't matter. You need to provide that if R is not in your path. If you don't know what that means, you, chances are you need to provide the path, the directory, then CMD batch, then the f location and name of the script, the basically the text file that contains the R code that you want to automatically run. Make sure that that is it that is a dot R format. It's still a text document containing code. Okay. And finally, what I'm going to provide now is the directory or file path of where I want the R out file. I've taken care of the plot file and the R data file by CDing to, to the location that I wanted. The, and now I need to provide the R out file location. So I wanted to actually go into this same R out folder. So all three items I want to end up there. So once again, I'll copy that, paste that and I'm going to name my R out file, whatever I like, and I'll end it with an dot R out. Okay. Just to be sure. So, uh, let's say test dot, uh, yeah, test dot R out, let's say. Okay. So I have provided three file paths here. One, two, and three. One is to R executable. Two is to the script containing the R code. Three is to where I want the R out file, which contains the output. I'm going to get all three files now in this folder. Now let's run this code. No errors noticeable on this end, right? So now let's go to our out or rather out. And we see I got all three components. Now let's take a look at each of these. Okay. So test our out. We actually saw this before. It's exactly what we saw before. We have all the code and the output from our script minus the plots. Okay. 
and we're even given this processing time down here user system elapsed time okay great next the plots here are the plots that I requested fantastic okay and here's the R data foil so so this one if I open it up is just gibberish what this will actually do is it will actually allow me to open up an, a new instance of R and load the workspace and actually continue working if I need it to kind of work interactively or feed this workspace into into some other uh, kind of workflow all right so if you like we can actually done that really quick I'll go into our GUI I'll do file load workspace and I will go over to my desktop where the out file was and grab that R data file open it up and I've loaded it so what does that mean if I look at a list of saved items you see car and cars and M1 were the two assign items that I assigned symbols to or names to M1 was the model cars was the data set so so I can continue working here if I need to or and so on okay all right so so that's a taste of how of, of some of these other executables the, that you get when you install R and how to use them this particular one is somewhat of a relic but it's a way to work with R non-interactively now one thing you could do actually to take this a step further is to instead of coming into CMD and typing this code that I had here you can take this code straight out and throw it into a text file okay well, I've actually gone ahead and done that um, so you throw that into a text file and that's pretty much what I've done here as you can see CD the file path to out and then that exact code that I just had so I just take that put it here I save this as a dot bat that's a batch file in Windows whenever you need to execute something uh, kind of it, non again non interactively you can create a dot bat dot bat file which is called a batch file okay close that now I can literally double click this file and actually let me show you let me put this side by side with the output so what I'm gonna do here is delete what we just did before all that output is gone now now I'm gonna run the same exact code but even smoother than before before I had to go over here to CMD and type type my code here okay if it's something that I need to do on a daily basis a monthly basis and I need to repeat over and over again I can even go a step further and create this batch file that contains that same code that I typed in CMD now I'm gonna double click this and watch what happens boom I got my plots again I got my R out and I have my R data in other words the workspace is saved okay so that's a taste of how to work with R non-interactively this could actually feed some results into a, a, a workflow that contains uh, other uh, applications and software besides R so Hope this was helpful. Um, I'll add this to um, the R playlists that I have on Jalayer Academy. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, have a great day.